Hello, Gamey Euphoria. Our leader, Mr. Welsh Andy, has asked us all to do introduction videos. He also asked me to do my naked, or at least in a vest so he could see my arms for some reason. Apparently he has an arm fetish, or an armpit fetish, we're not entirely sure. So, he has my video. He suggested I show you some things that I find to be very, very dear to me. And that I don't swear in this video because Gaming Emporia is a family friendly site. So, let's have a look. Well, the first thing that is dear to me is my left foot. Because without my left foot, my right foot would not work. And thus, I need this foot and leg indeed to walk, which is usually quite handy. And no, this video is not filmed in 2008, regardless of what this annual says. Strife figurine from Final Fantasy 7, not Crisis Core, just Final Fantasy 7. And an Atari 2600 at the top. Hmm, isn't that interesting? The part of the fox, he said, tell them something about yourself. Well, my favourite film is. Evil Dead. Well, it's one of my favourite films. I'm a Liverpool supporter, even though I'm actually from Iran. I also like films, horror films. One of my films, favourite films of all time is Battle Royale. It's a lovely film about teenagers killing each other. Yes, lovely. So he wanted to tell us, well he wanted us to tell you some stuff about us. Well, as you can see I'm a bit of a video game nerd. I don't really sort of constrain myself to current gen systems. So I, I, I like to, well, I'd say dabble. I like to die head first into sort of older systems from Atari 2600 to NES, SNES, what else? Amiga, 60, Commodore 64, you know, every sort of length of the game you can possibly go to. So, yeah, what game is my favourite game of all time? Halo. Ha, oh, well, kidding. It's overrated. Crap. I don't really have a favourite game of all time, but if I was to choose five games which I've vastly enjoyed compared to the other ones I've played, Mega Man 2, Half-Life 2, uh, what else we got? Diablo 2. There's a lot of twos in here, isn't there? Hmm. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I think everyone sort of fakes that as one of them. Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 7, you get the idea. So yeah, something that is highly valuable to me, well, that could be this. It's, yes, it's Gizmo from the film Gremlins. And, no, it's not called, he's not called Mogwai, he's called Gizmo. He is a Mogwai called Gizmo. Let's get that clear. So yeah, I've had this for many, many years now, so yeah, it's quite valuable to me. Sentimental, obviously. Other things that are valuable to me are quite a lot of things on the shelf. I mean, I would go through certain stuff, but I can't be asked, and that would take too much time. But let's just look up there. Toy 2600 in its box, it's been condition. That's pretty valuable to me. And the NES in its box, main condition, that's probably valuable to me as well. So, yeah, they're the most valuable things. And as for those stuff, yeah, what, what's my rule on gaming euphoria? I'm the one that spams news, reviews, so far mostly of indie games and arcade games. And I'm the annoying one on the podcast, the one that speaks too much and is a bit over opinionated, but you know, that makes things wonderful. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And yes, my name is Sean. I'm the one with the dodgy picture, like this, you know, I go, I go like, Ooh, cocky face. Oh yes, before I forget, something else that was quite valuable to me. Shadow of the Colossus. This is probably one of the prime examples of why some video games can be considered art. This is the limited edition version that came with the postcards, but I'm not going to get them out in case the wind blows and they'll get destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, my hair's not greasy, it's wet, it's got a shower. I'll have to film that for Andy as well to get some uh, review copies. So yeah.